Hi everyone, welcome to WW Designs. It's Nikki here. And a funny thing happened on my way to filming the final flip through of this journal, which I've done and videoed it all in a 30 part series of 30 ways to decorate my junk journal. I went through the journal and I made a fresh list in the order that they flow so that if you decided, oh, I want to make one of those today, you would know which part it is you need to watch in the playlist, hashtag JJJ30. Well, as I was making my list, I realized I had a minor problem. I missed one. I never did a number 18. I went 17 and then I did 19 and I wondered why I didn't have enough videos in my playlist. So it's going to be a bit bodgy, but the other day, dear Tracy Fox, I'm sure you all know Tracy Fox Creative. If you don't, you need to be following her and you need to be a subscriber because she sends out the most wonderful freebies, of which this one is this delightful collection of goodness. Now, I only got this the other day and I wanted to make something with it. And when I had made it, I was actually disappointed that I had already made all the things for this journal because I thought it would be an absolutely perfect fit because using freebies is one of the things I've tried to include on some of the things I've created just so people know they can get gorgeous things for free and make stuff for their journal. So you're not going to see me actually make this because I've already done it, but other than cutting it out, I cut out all these pieces and I printed them on normal printer paper and I stuck it all down to guess what? A shopping bag. Surprise, surprise. That is my favourite way to use up all these shopping bags I end up with these days, just to give it a little bit of strength. And it's tag shaped and because we have a double tag I decided to create a little notebook so this front piece is a pocket the word stationery is in the kit so I glued that down there of course first journal card is this delightful old vintage drawers and one of the pens that comes in it I've just stuck in there I also added a little bit of ephemera. Surprise, surprise again. I'm very, very predictable. <laughs> um, it's coffee related. I had these in my stash. So I just put two tiny holes in it and put them on a little paper clip. Then on the inside, of course, we have the second delightful vintage cabinet. And what I did was put a tiny little hole up at the top of the three pens that were remaining in this freebie and used a bulb pin to just gently attach them. This piece of parchment paper or pile of papers, I should say, is in the kit. I decided to use that as a pocket, added the word scratch pad that was in the kit and my own little piece of coffee ephemera. And at the same time, I then made myself a little selection of papers that you can write on and I decided I wanted to make it refillable so what I did is simply put them in a paper clip and then I cut a little hole in the back to slip the paper clip in so you can use this by removing a piece of paper use all the pieces of paper and then refill it of course the choice is yours so, as I said, this is a little bit of a bodgy video because I have already made this piece, but this will be part 18. This is a freebie you just have to have if you are a lover of all things vintage and or stationery. I absolutely adore this and I will be finding a home for it somewhere in this journal. So, we now have part 18 and the final flip through will be done shortly. Um, bye for now. Stay safe and stay healthy until the next episode.